So you shared a story with Kevin recently. I heard about uh, you know one of the challenges as an architect is you spend all this time designing something, and when it actually comes out, that may not exactly be what yeah. what what you uh, what you designed. Um, how do you feel like this space came out based on you know capturing Charlie Pastor Charlie's vision and Chris Clayton his uh, vision? How do you feel like this was delivered? Um, in the expectation of those visions and what you had and your vision, yeah. right? <laughs> well, you know, being a member here and the architect and <laughs> one of the audio engineers and worship leaders, um, you know, I had a vested interest in it being right. Uh, but I'm not sure any of us knew what that was yet. Um, as with any building project, there's obviously a budget and that played in. And, and I don't know a project that doesn't have a budget. Sure. Um, and I think you probably remember, I mean, how many times did we sit down and go, where can we find a little money? What are the things maybe we can't I went through a couple without? red pins on this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it was a process of, you know, really dreaming pretty big. And we did this, this is maybe the third version of this building that we drew. Um, and we dreamed really big and, and figured out that those dreams were maybe too big and cold back a little, and that required you all and, and your part to cold back. Um, and even that was maybe dreaming too big. So we, this is like version three that we ended up on. But I think that's a natural thing in most pro processes and most building projects is there's just not unlimited amount of money. Um, and so the process with you all in terms of getting good advice on really what are the things that are most important. I'm not sure Pastor Charlie or myself or the worship pastor, Chris, knew exactly what they could live and live without. What are the most important things? And so leaning on your all's expertise on these are the things you really don't want to skimp on um, was huge. Uh, so we did end up spending a lot of uh, energy on the acoustics because those are the things that are hard to go back and do later. They were really integrated into the architecture of the building because they're not just pasted on, you know, things that can just be hung on the wall. They're integral to the architecture of the building. Um, and then things like, you know, I think we ended up cutting a third of the lighting package in here. And as you can see, uh, we're not lacking for anything. Uh, would it be nice to have more? Yes. But you all knew that we were going to be okay without some of those lights, but that the acoustics in the space were important because that's how we communicate the message. And, you know, it's about sharing the gospel and it being clear. And that was something that you knew that the pastor and the staff should not compromise on. That's the most important. And I think they yeah. agreed with that, but it took some explaining on, on what was really important in the priorities. So, um, so yeah, it's, it's, uh, in terms of vision, um, you all helped us find the vision as much as anybody. Um, it was a lot of dreaming. We knew what we wanted to do with the space, and we knew we wanted people to be impacted by it. But we weren't sure how to get there until you all uh, helped us in, in that. So so it's big. It's not just um, a technical thing. Um, the technical yeah. part is a means to the end of, of kind of dreaming on how do we reach more people and how do we um, use this space to... Um, do what we dreamt of doing in people's lives, not necessarily, uh, you know, having cool stuff. Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah, absolutely.